today we're going to go over five different things that the Pet Simulator 99 developers have forgotten about. So the first thing that developers have forgotten about are going to be the daily quest machines. So as you can see, there's a daily quest machine like the one day one, I think it's the daily actually, and then we got the three day and then the seven day one over here as you can see. And if you just go into one of them, you can just select the card. They're just, you know, of ideal difficulty, but the problem is the rewards are not great. I know this might be like, you know, rewards for like beginners, but I feel like they should definitely scale this. I know they just kind of added like these quest machines and then they just didn't really do anything with them after that so hopefully they do like revamp this and make it better the second thing that the developers may have forgotten about is going to be this locked entrance right over here right below this hype sign as you can see right here and this thing was only used i believe once which is for the saint patrick's event and after that it was not used at all so this hasn't been used for like almost half a year at this point and i guess developers kind of wanted to do something like with the dominus room in pet simulator x but they never actually got around to doing that and so this entrance right here is pretty pointless and not really used for anything and now the third thing that developers have forgotten about is going to be the mystery ticket that players have received from the scavenger hunt from an update within pet simulator 99 i unfortunately don't have one so i'll just put up a picture on screen of it but this ticket is just not used for anything like it's just been there mystery ticket and it's just been sitting there collecting dust and not used at all players have just been you know selling it back and forth because because they might think it'll be used for something in the future but that is still yet to happen the fourth thing that developers have forgotten about inside of the game is going to be Preston's secret shop. As you can see, it's between the intersection of area 35 and area 26 over here. And I believe the Preston shop was only used once to sell like 2024 uh, fireworks and like the firework launcher. And after that, it's just, you know, gone back to this. What's the super secret code? Nobody knows and nothing really works. And you know, many people have probably spent hours trying to guess this, but you're just not really good. I don't, I don't even believe there's a code at all for this. So just don't waste your time. Time. hopefully the developers do something about this shop because it's just been sitting here and doing nothing now the last thing the developers have forgotten about is going to be in area 56 the fairy tale castle and it's going to be like the sort of big castle right here which was i guess meant to be like a clan castle and as you can see coming soon this thing has been coming soon for months uh, at this point and nothing has you know happened yet you know maybe we get like you know some cl extra clan benefits something like that it'd be pretty cool to have a clan castle maybe like fight with other clans or something like that it'd be nice to see but let me know your opinion on these things that developers have forgotten about within this game